My wife's brother is useless. I mean, he does nothing. He gets fired from his job. His parents don't want to take him in because they know how useless he is. And then he comes to my house because his sister is all like, Honey, we have to save him. And then he starts eating all my food. So I've had enough and I decide to do something kind of crazy. Let me tell you about it. I'm 34 and male and I've done something that I'm sure uh, past me would not have expected out of me. I've spoken against my wife's demands. It's extraordinary because I've done that seven years into our marriage. Now, you have a picture of a nerd or a simp in your mind, but that's not what I am, I'm telling ya. Yeah, I love my wife, Helen, but my passiveness mostly comes from my shy nature. I'm an introvert. I'm talking too much, so I don't get into confrontations. Unfortunately, Helen has taken advantage of that, and it's only because of that that I've confronted her this time and refused to help her brother, Rocky, with whom I have nothing but a Rocky relationship with. <laughs> Patunch. Why I've reached this decision, you will know in a while. In the meantime, I have a question prepared for you. Am I wrong for finally speaking against my wife and confronting her about her abusive and manipulative attitude? Am I wrong? Well, for asking her to hustle more if she wanted to help her unemployed brother so much? You can form your opinion based on the information that I will give you. I had some serious issues with Helen overspending money for avoidable reasons, I mean long before we gave Rocky a place at her house. It was sudden. We had not planned it, at least I had not planned it. Well, let me tell you what happened. About seven months ago, Helen received a call from Rocky in the middle of the night. He was sobbing and informed her that he had just been laid out of his job and now had nowhere to go. I waved Helen's concerns over and told her to tell Rocky to go back to his apartment. Unfortunately, Rocky had not paid rent for two months and his landlord was not pleased to hear that he could not pay month for the third. As expected, he kicked him out. I told Helen to ask about his parents and, I mean, I was sure his parents would give him a place to stay. They loved him. Helen reminded me that her parents were out of state for the next two weeks. Then she asked why I was so hesitant in giving Rocky a place to stay. I could have gone on and on and on, but uh, I allowed it. So yes, it was unfortunate for me. In the first week of the stay, I asked her why Rocky did not pay his rent on time. After all, he had enough money in his hands and Helen promised to ask him, but she never did. It was a legible question in my opinion. Rocky was earning and Helen also lent him money and lavished him with expensive gifts. Rocky was not the only receiver of her affection though. She did the same for her parents, and I must tell you that I have no issues with her being so fond of her family. But the fact that Helen did all that with my money was not easy to digest. Yes, she gave them money or bought them gifts with the money. Helen did that several times a month. Whenever I cautioned her about it, she just retaliated that I could not stop her from being fond of her family. I backtracked. I did not mean anything of that kind. Instead of defending myself, I asked her to be fond of her family with her money, and I did not earn so much to keep our livelihood and simultaneously spend money on nonsense things. Immediately, she launched into verbal attacks, then emotional manipulation, and finally claimed saving money for our future child. Hello? What did she mean by that? Our future child would be as much of a responsibility as mine. If one parent saves money, then the other one has to, too. Her argument just did not make much sense. She did not make sense at all. But even so, I did not say anything and just returned to work. What was hilarious was that we were not even planning on a child. We have had several confrontations like that, and it's always revolved around my money rather than hers. After Rocky started living with us, the argument increased in numbers. As you would expect, they always revolved around money. The only difference between them and now is that I rarely spoke up or gave my points. It was not like she was listening to them anyways, so I did not miss out on much because I never really spoke much. 
She never changed her behavior, and whenever I did, she would either start an argument with me or play the victim. It was mentally exhausting, you know, and I knew it was a toxic cycle, but I could do little to break it off. After a while, I got comfortable in it, so in these past seven years, Helen used that against me. What she would do is bring up new issues uh, about every once in a while. It would either be about her parents' health, the rent, or sometimes Rocky's issues. When she had no such thing to play about, she would discuss ways to which she could surprise her family. Usually, it involved some expensive gift, but sometimes she would plan trips to different states. To make up for it all, she would celebrate my birthday by inviting a hundred people. Her family was always present, and so were her friends and some of her colleagues, and I could not understand her fascination with spending so much. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm not rich. Nor is she a rich woman. I displayed irritation when she booked tickets for her parents for Bali. She gave reasons that she was out of money to surprise her parents for an upcoming personal accomplishment. So she used mine without consulting me. Her argument, guys? I'm her husband and should help her whenever she needs it. Ridiculous! I get why she does that. Her family's important to her and she wants to express it as much as possible. My argument, however, is that she would also be aware of our financial situation. You might expect that after Rocky started living with us, she would change her behavior. Nothing of that sort happened. She still spent money on her parents. Again, I'm not saying she's wrong for caring for her parents, but she used my money even after I stated that I didn't have much. My other objection was her lack of using her own money. Surely I deserve to talk about that. However, nothing of that sort seemed to matter. After Rocky came to our place, her ways of helping him changed drastically. She would no longer give him expensive things, but often lent him money. And this way, she ensured that I would have little to argue about. Even though the money was mine almost every week, I would see new messages from my bank. It went on for months until I decided I needed to change this. I'm not going to pretend and say it was easy for me to speak against Helen. In all these years, I've done little to approach her about this matter. In a way, you can blame me for her behavior. The reason I confronted her was money-related as well, and how it started was peaceful. However, the moments leading up to those moments were not. A week before the argument, I remember asking Helen's opinion and help regarding some matter that involved my family. Her answers were dismissive. She suggested some things, but I knew she could not care less. It got on my nerves, and we broke into an argument soon after. However, it cooled down for a while. Then, a few days later, she came to talk to me about Rocky. I knew by then it was not going to be an easy conversation, and her first question was if I knew how badly Rocky was dealing with his job loss. I mean, to be honest with you guys, it was uttered nonsense, and I'll tell you why. Rocky was not doing badly. Thanks to his sister, Helen provided him with my money, and I did with food and shelter, and he, well, did nothing at home and just slept away his hours in the day. Sometimes you would see him eating junk food and watching TV throughout the day. Is that how a badly faring man deals with his problems? If anything, I knew he had adjusted well to his life. He was getting comfortable. If there was a point in the past where he worried about being unemployed, it was long gone and forgotten. Now, he enjoyed his rest. He had little to be worried about, and I'm telling you this to inform you how badly he was dealing with his job loss. You think about this and tell me what else he could have done to show he was worried about being jobless. Well, I'll wait for your response. Remember the state of our lives as well, and you do not do well in a materialistic world if you're not a millionaire. Rocky was not a responsible human. I hope you have got that idea from everything I've laid out for you. Well, what happened next? She asked me that question and did not wait for an answer. She knew I had nothing sympathetic to say, and she also knew why that was the case. You can show kindness to someone who deals with a similar situation like Rocky, but only when they work to improve their life. 
It was not the case with Rocky. It was clear I disliked him. Then she claimed Rocky had a genius business plan, and he wanted money to work on it. As his brother-in-law, I have the responsibility to understand his situation and help him with it. Like hell! Ah, what man sits and watches TV through the day and then suddenly comes up with a genius business idea? He was bluffing her, and she was ready to become a fool just because Rocky was her brother. When I showed hesitation regarding this proposition, she got a little more aggressive. Her manipulation stored me, well, it started with words. She began reminding me of when she had helped my sister with her business idea, and let me tell you, that was ages ago, even before we got married. I'm pretty sure in the past seven years, I've had more than repaid that debt. However, she kept on and on, and at one point, she looked like she would cry if I did not immediately agree to help her. However, I've decided I would not let anything move me, and a few hundred dollars in a week was tolerable, but not the hundreds of thousands of dollars I was sure I would go to waste if in Rocky's hands. I refused, and she got mad. I was not going to let it go, though. I knew Rocky was in the living room, so I kept my voice loud when I said that. If Helen wanted to help Rocky so much, she could hustle more. If this line of work was not working for her, she should find another lucrative job if her goal was to help her brother. It made her angry, and I could not care less. For a few days, it seemed to do the trick, and Helen did not talk much about it, and Rocky avoided me like a plague. Eventually, she returned with the same demand, and I refused yet again. She was persistent about this, though, and I had changed my pen. So, there was no way she could have used my debit card again. However, she just kept badgering me about it. In the end, in frustration, I told her that I would. However, I had something planned, though. What I did will sound mean to you, I assume. You must think that I'm in the wrong as well, but I did it and there's no going back. When Helen was not home, I took her credit card, went into Rocky's room, and gave it to him. To make the entire situation sound a bit more genuine, I asked about his plans. What was he going to do with the money, and he told me that before working on his business plan, he would buy essential items and a place to work on his idea, because his business idea required handiwork. He needed materials. Well, I was satisfied with his answer and gave him Helen's card, and as an explanation, I told him that it was Helen's and she wanted him to have it so that he could use it. However, what she needed? She had approved of it. <laughs> he looked grateful and immediately put it in his pocket. He thanked me, but I knew my plan was finally in motion. I have little to update except that Helen seemed curious about her money. She had little chance to check her financial statement, so I assume Rocky will run her dry. I know this is going to end messy, I know, but I've made up my mind on certain things. What do you guys think of my way? Have I gone too far? Am I in the wrong? Technically, Helen would hustle and her brother would reap the benefits, and Helen was still helping out her brother, right? She could still prove that she loved her brother, and I suppose that's the goal. Let me know your thoughts. I'm willing to hear it out. I'm also open to arguments. I needed to change your habits, and this was the only way I could think of doing it. I'll let you guys know what happens after the next update. Update number one. It has not been much time, I hope, in the past few weeks. A few things have happened, though. I'm going to tell you what it was, and I will not take much of your time. I realize I sounded like I was overflowing with several emotions last time. I hope I was still coherent, though, because what I'll say will relate to what I mentioned earlier. My focus would be my toxic relationship with my wife, Helen, and Helen's fondness for her family that constantly threatened my financial situation, so here goes nothing. I disclosed the entire thing to my parents and my sister. My parents were slightly upset about how I handled the situation, but in the end, they suggested stepping away from the marriage in simpler words. They advised divorce if talking did not work, and nothing about our relationship seemed genuine. It was toxic and abusive, and I constantly felt like I was getting scammed. 
Helen refused to change, and her behavior was not getting more abusive by the passing months. They said there was little hope in our marriage, and it would be better to cut off ties now than to have children in a few years, and make it even more complicated. I agreed. So I discussed the issues with my family lawyer and arranged the divorce papers. Around the same time, Helen gets suspicious. She was constantly receiving messages about her card and was getting updates about debits made from her card and when she came over to discuss it with me, she had blocked her card. She started talking about it and asked if I had seen her credit card anywhere. I thought about it. Ah, and she grew impatient and began her search in our bedroom again. When I was sure that she was on her last nerve... I informed her I might have seen Rocky with the card. She could not believe what she just heard. Not at all? I had to confirm her bank and details about her card design for her to decide on checking in with Rocky. And Before she could do that, though, I showed her the divorce paper. I can bet that she had never looked that confused in the past. I just informed her that I could not possibly handle this marriage anymore. I need an escape and divorce was the only route. She did not take the entire thing lightly. I could not care less. I've made up my mind, and all I've decided to do now is talk about the situation with her. If she still refuses to understand, I'll proceed with this. So, this is what happened in the last few days, and I missed updating, guys. Just like the last time, let me know your thoughts. I'm Willing to hear your suggestions and change some things if the situation demands it, or if it can help me with my case. I promise to come back with an update soon. Update number two. Alright folks, I know it's been a bit of time, but I have some updates and I'm sure at least one of them would be surprising to you. I will hope that because my last few days have been entertaining. The situation finally reached Helen's parents and... Helen's parents are old. Speaking against them does not sit well with me. But I will do that anyway, so what happened is that this news reached them and they reacted very animatedly. Because they have misused their relationship with me and they were not right either. They were in the wrong and they knew it. They were ashamed that they were the ones of the reasons Helen's are getting divorced. But eventually they tried to turn the favor against me. They said it was good that their daughter would be free of a selfish man who hated that she loved her family so much. And this way, they claimed I would no longer control her life and her finances, and she was free to do whatever she wanted. It was so ridiculous to me in so many languages that I had nothing to say. I remember feeling foolish on their behalf, and my parents had little to say. I believe they were just as embarrassed by such claims and arguments. Anywho, we proceeded with the divorce, and I claimed compensation, and the court ordered her to follow through with the demand. It was not much, certainly not enough to cover the money that I've wasted on absolute nonsense throughout our marriage, but I was glad it was over. Helen, for her part, did not do much, but went along with it. I assumed she had other things to take care of as well. For beginners, it was her brother. Rocky had almost hit her credit card limit, and he had spent so much money that Helen had lost her senses. Her love for her brother was limited to just that, and our divorce was not agreed upon when I revealed my intentions. It took some time to unfold, and Helen did not only have to deal with a possible divorce from her husband of seven years, but also of her brother, who had single-handedly taught her the lesson I wanted to teach her all these years. When I revealed the divorce papers to her, her first reaction was to first deal with her brother, so we did that. She had a brief confrontation with her brother, wherein she demanded the truth and asked him how he could do that to her. In return, Rocky replied, how could she act like that when she had given him the card herself? Well, it seemed to upset her more, and in a fit of rage, she asked him to leave. Yeah, that's right, she had kicked him out. It was a win-win. But even so, I stood silent in the corner and I did not want any attention on me. There was no improvement in their relationship after that. I don't know much about what she planned to do, but I know things are no longer peaceful between the brother and the sister. For one thing, I know she has had a few arguments with her parents over the same issue. 
I could go on and on about how many I've witnessed, but it began the same night that she confronted her brother. Two or so hours after she had kicked Rocky out of her home, she received a call from her parents. They were furious with her, and it was not a good night for her. I tried to comfort her through the situation, but she shrugged me off, and she said she did not want a man. So, I left her alone after that, and I did not want to bother her anymore. It was clear she needed her space, and we slept in different rooms that night, but I could still hear her arguments with her parents over the phone. I woke up the next morning because of another argument, so yes, it began on the same day and continues. Although this divorce has cut them off from a secure financial position, and they hate me for that, there are still problems within the family that they're dealing with. I'm sure whatever happens now will not be good for her family. Besides that, there is little that I can update about. I'm glad that I'm free of her manipulation and schemes, and I've managed my finances better in the past week. My parents gave me some money, so it's going well. You've been the most willing judge of my situation, and I'll still love to hear from everyone in the comments section. Just hit me up with any advice or suggestions, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can ask me too. If you want an update regarding Helen and her family, well, I can't promise I'll be able to deliver the entire it, since I'm no longer a part of her life. I cannot guarantee that I will know everything. Even so, if you're curious, I'll try to share whatever I hear or find about Helen and her family. It also means that the next update may be the last. Keep holding on to that, guys. Keep hustling, people. If you want to lavish your family with expensive gifts all the while, keeping your spouse satisfied with how you handle the finances. Update number three. Hey guys, before I begin with this update, that'll be the last one for sure, I want to say something. Loving your family is not wrong, and being fond of your family is not wrong either. What is wrong, though, is not understanding you need to hustle. If your partner is no millionaire, you cannot expect them to take that brunt of it all without even a little help from you. It'll eventually get bad. It did with mine, and there's enough chance it would get hectic in yours too. One of you asked, what is the takeaway from my life? And I'll say it's this. Work with your partner, because being fond of your family will not break your marriage. In my case, unfortunately, that was not all. Besides, Helen's fondness for her family, she was abusive, manipulative. We separated because I realized I did not want to deal with her anymore. I wanted to cut off the toxic part of my life, and I managed to do so. I'm 34 still, and I have enough life to live. Honestly, I'm glad I got my senses back in time. I, I've had enough time to recover and find a better life partner. Okay, let's move on to Helen and Rocky. I've received a bit of information about them, you see. Rocky had spent a lot of her money. He bought some items for his business idea, but the money spent on it was nothing compared to what he spent on reckless shopping. If what I hear is correct, Rocky also rented a little studio, right? Well, he had paid half of the lease and was going to pay the other half, but Helen caught on to it, and after the divorce, Helen decided to deal with her brother. It's left her family in shambles, and the brother and sister do not like each other. And further proof of that is the case Helen has filed against Rocky. I'm assuming it's the entitlement charge. You know, I know that'll not end in peace. I am unsure if Rocky could pay her back, and I'm also unsure where their parents stand on the issue. None of the four people have asked for my help. I've not received any calls from Rocky either, so I assume he has not yet mentioned that I've given him the card. I hope that he never mentions it. In any case, this is where I'll end this. I'm glad you guys listened to me and read this entire update. And even more that some of you tried to be helpful, I will always remember that. So what we witnessed in this story was the absolute breaking point for Steve. He didn't even care about his marriage at the end of this story. He didn't care about his wife. He didn't care about their family. He didn't even care about her brother. He was over it. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think what he did? Was it right or wrong when he went behind his wife's back? took her credit card and gave it to her brother and kind of set it up a war. 
yeah, there were commenters saying, well, she deserved it. She was stealing his money, so he decides to get a little get back. So let me hear from you guys. Do you think that this was justified, or do you think OP should have been like, you know what? I'm just leaving. I don't need to be a part of this, and just not have gone ahead and got her credit card. Drop your thoughts down below. My name's Mr. Redito. I narrate stories every day. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. But just remember one thing. It's cool to be kind. See ya.